video I wanted to just give you an update on my fentramine progress the weight loss pill or appetite suppressant that I have been taking so if you're interested in seeing an updated video about that please keep watching okay so in my last video I posted that three weeks ago I intended on coming back the next week but there were just so many other things happening I moved and then I had to get settled into a routine here and then I just had a lot of things that I had to do so I was very busy so I didn't really take the pill that week those three past weeks but if I did take it I would take it sporadically I wouldn't take it every day maybe every third day or every other day so I didn't want to really give you uh, an update because it wouldn't be a true update so this is going to be my kind of official week two because this is the second the end of the second week that I have been taking it and uh well just to give you an overall last the first week I lost seven pounds this week I lost three more so that's a total of ten from those two weeks that I took the pill um, but I will kind of just go ahead and tell you, I think after I finish that bottle, which may be next week, that I'm not going to take it anymore. Um, I mentioned in my last video, I believe, a little bit of the upset stomach feeling that I was having and the dry mouth. And I don't know if I'm just not a good medicine taker, but I kind of don't feel like it's worth it anymore. Um, now that I have gotten settled into a routine and that I'm comfortable with uh, I will be working out so I really don't think it would be as useful um, I think previously when I wasn't working out and I wasn't eating healthily it was nice to have something to help control my need or my want to uh, eat all the time but now since I'm busier and I'm not really eating bad food and I'm gonna start working out uh, I really don't think I need to take this pill. Uh, it did work clearly as you can see. I've had some results but um, I just I don't like that uneasy feeling in my stomach that it gave me and I would much rather just continue eating healthily because when I was strict on Weight Watchers last year I was doing that and losing between two to five pounds every week so um I just think that would be better and that's all natural so however I don't want to discourage anybody who is on a journey taking fentramine or who is looking into taking it because just like anything this is my individual um, experience and it may be different from you um, also if you've never been on Weight Watchers like I have maybe you don't have that same type of mentality or motivation to stick with another type of program but I just think if I'm going to be on a different program I really don't need this pill and it kind of doesn't seem like it would be healthy for me to be on Fentermine and uh, doing weight loss through Weight Watchers so that's kind of just what I decided. I do think that this pill still is effective and um, if you want to use it to kind of jumpstart your weight loss, if you've never started losing weight or if this is your first time losing weight, I think this is good, especially for someone like myself who could eat all day, every day. Um, I definitely think it's effective. Um, but for me, I was just using it as kind of like a hard reset and I think I have accomplished that goal. So I am quite satisfied. For me, it's just too annoying having that weird feeling in my stomach sometimes. Um, although I did notice that I don't feel it as much when I do eat before taking it. So maybe that has something to do with it. But just overall in general, I won't be taking it anymore after I finish my bottle. So I might do another update at the end of next week to let you know how my progress is going. But I'm going to try to start back working out next week. Uh, it's just so hard. Now I don't have um, a gym in my home, so I actually have to go to the gym. And it's in a walking distance, but I'm kind of lazy. But I'm definitely going to try to make that a priority in the coming week because I have kind of stuck to my um, eating regimen as far as taking in less calories and eating healthier foods and eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, so I think that I can do that and be successful without the weight loss pill or appetite suppressant. Um, yeah. 
Oh, another thing. I've noticed that since I've been steadily taking it the past week, I felt really, really dehydrated. Um, I don't know if that's just me because I wasn't drinking enough water, but I definitely noticed, like I think yesterday, uh, including my regular water and liquid intake, I had like three water bottles and I drank them very quickly. And I'm usually not that type of water drinker. Like I'll drink my regular intake of water, but not back to back to back. So maybe that's a side effect that I'm experiencing. I can't really think of anything else I had to talk about, but I'll probably do one more update next week just to let you know my third week of progress. So uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I know on my last video, some people were asking where I got the pill. You do have to see a doctor to get it. It is a prescription medicine, so you can't just walk into your local drugstore and get it. You do have to get a prescription. Um, my doc I just told my doctor that I wanted something to control my appetite and he gave me the prescription. It wasn't hard. I'm not sure if it's like that for every doctor you go to. Uh, but yeah, so those are my results. Um, sorry this video is kind of boring. I didn't have much to say other than the fact that it was effective this week. Um, I was able to lose weight and I do feel better and I have more energy. Um, so I am excited to see what will happen next week. Um, because I hopefully <laughs> intend to work out. So yes, that's all I have to share with you. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, leave them below. And yes, I will see you next week for my week three update. And yeah, bye.